Tennessee. Let's delve deeper into this unfolding situation. In a tense exchange, the Philippines and China exchanged accusations on Saturday regarding an incident in the disputed waters of the South China Sea, escalating tensions over the strategically significant maritime area. According to Manila, two Chinese Coast Guard vessels allegedly harassed Filipino fishing vessels within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. On the other hand, Beijing claimed that its vessels responded appropriately to what they deemed as illegal activities. The South China Sea is a vital waterway for global trade, facilitating over $3 trillion in annual shipborne commerce. However, it is also a source of territorial disputes, with multiple countries, including the Philippines, Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Brunei, asserting claims over parts of the region. In a landmark ruling in 2016, the Permanent Court of Arbitration dismissed China's expansive claims as lacking a legal basis. The ongoing tensions between Beijing and Manila have been particularly pronounced near the uninhabited Second Thomas Shoal, located within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. Here, the Philippines conducts resupply missions for its soldiers stationed on a grounded warship, a deliberate move made in 1999 to safeguard Manila's maritime interests. The Philippines will join defense forces of the U.S., Japan, and Australia on Sunday in maritime exercises they said aimed to support a free and open Indo-Pacific as China grows more assertive in its maritime claims. The disputed shoal is part of what are known internationally as the Spratly Islands. China's Coast Guard said on Saturday that a number of ships belonging to the Philippines had illegally entered waters near a reef in the Nansha Islands that Beijing has sovereignty over. Philippine Coast Guard spokesperson Jay Tariella posted on X that China's vessels went as far as pretending to man their water cannons and threatening the Filipino fishermen in the Iroquois Reef on Thursday. Chinese Coast Guard spokesperson Gan Yu said in a statement that its operation was professional and in accordance with standards. He said the Philippine vessels were government ships using the guise of fishing protection to undermine stability in the South China Sea.